Hello there, my name is Ink, and welcome to the campfire. Tonight I would be telling you the story of Nathan Phelps. I must tell you about my targets. I look for younger targets in the 8 to 10 year old range. A shapeshifter. I don't care about race or gender, but I care about size. I can only alter mass so much. Nathan Phelps fit my profile. He never made it home from school. Amber Alerts went out. His family was featured in the news. Investigations launched. Manhunts began. Photos, videos played on TV. Despite the occasional miracle, missing children are rarely found. Five weeks after the disappearance, Journalists turned to something new. I acted, assuming Nathan's shape. I wandered, naked, covered in bruises, along a highway. A car stopped, and a frantic woman called 911. The rest happened as usual. Whisked to a hospital, acting violent and confused. Kept doctors from getting a close look. However, I gave my name. And it wasn't long before call started and then, finally, Nathan's parents arrived. They did what all parents do, bringing something dear to Nathan, a blanket. When they came in, hopeful but cautious, extending it towards me, I grabbed it greedily, teary-eyed, I looked up. Mom? I asked hesitantly. That connection starts the roller coaster integrating me into their lives. I became Nathan. It's easy to use trauma and terror as excuses for nothing. It's easy to use trauma and terror as excuses for not knowing things, not reacting appropriately, having integrated Nathan's DNA. I passed all medical screens, eventually allowed to return home. Watching videos, hearing stories, I became more apt at passing as Nathan. Months turned to years. Nathan's parents loved me. I was given a safe home, food, love. I was happy. After Nathan's 11th birthday passed, I knew I had to do what I always did before. I couldn't keep up the charade. I couldn't increase size appropriately. I began to represent being sick. A cough, then spitting blood, then seizures. Shifters my age can easily fool tests, and blood work showed terminal cancer. I had come to care for Nathan's family. My last weeks as Nathan were hard, watching their faces as they watched their son wither. The time came, making a show of summoning strength. I sat up for the first time in days. I reached, caressing mom's cheek. I smiled at dad. I love you, I said, then fell back. Altering my body chemistry, the monitor showed flatline. It was hard to listen to their screams as they carried me out. A funeral, a wake, a burial, I allowed all of it. Underground, I altered my form to escape. I don't know what happened to Nathan Phelps or any other child I assumed. I never knew them before their stories hit the news. But I know one thing. The worst thing that a parent can endure is not knowing what happened to their child. Nathan's parents got to live for years with their son. They got to see him happy. They got to see him after they thought him gone forever. And then, they got to say goodbye. So tell me, am I a monster? <laughs>